All right, what's going on today, YouTube? Welcome back to your favorite cyclist YouTube channel. This week, we're answering a question. Is there a better way to crimp the ends of your cables? But before we get into today's video, if you are new to my channel, make sure you head down below, hit that subscribe button for me. If you already are subscribed, make sure you have that little bell icon right next to that checked off. Then we get notified every time I upload. That way you don't miss any of this awesome cycling content we got on this channel. So right on to the video, we are talking about your cable ends and whether there's a better way to crimp them and make them last longer. So normally when you work on a bike, you just put a standard little cable cap on the end of your cable. And that's there to pretty much hold the end of the cable from fraying out and causing problems, poking you, whole cable coming unraveled, all sorts of bad stuff. That's the basic way and the way I've seen it done a million times and it works very well. However, recently I saw that someone does something a little bit different and I want to know if it's actually better or worth your time to do it versus just using a standard cable cap. And the person I saw actually went ahead and soldered the cable ends on his bike. And that works pretty good. So we don't know what soldering is. Soldering essentially is for electrical wiring. What you generally do, this creates a very strong connection when you need to connect two wires together. So it works very well. And those type of wires you would connect together are generally a stranded set of wires. So stranded set of wires, braided cable, roughly about the same thing. So in theory, this should work. Essentially how it works, you go ahead and heat up the metal and the cable that you're going to be connecting together with this. And then you essentially feed in the solder itself and that combines everything together, makes it a solid connection that's not really gonna come out unless it gets ridiculously hot again. So in theory, it should work very well. It works very well on electrical. So why wouldn't it work on a bike? So that's what we're trying today. We're gonna try and go ahead, we're gonna pop this cable end off and we're gonna throw some solder on it and see if it actually works and whether it's better to do that or keep on doing cable ends like we've been doing them for years and years. So let's go ahead and get a little closer to the bike and we will fire this up and start soldering. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to put a new end on this cable right here. As you can tell, we lost cable cap at some point. This is the one we were talking about before that has a standard cable cap on it. Of course, we're gonna fix this one right here. So, got my soldering gun right here, ready to go, and we'll grab our solder as well, all warmed up, ready to go ahead and solder this. So essentially what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and heat this up, set this on there, start heating this metal up here, that way you can feed the solder in, and hopefully it melts together, hopefully this works. So, let's go ahead and get working on this. So that's pretty much soldered there. So we did get a little bit of solder in there. It's all in the wire itself. I mean, it does look pretty clean because they're not just something sticking off like this. I mean, it's different because I've, you know, it's not something you would, normally I'm out, normally on bikes, you would see this. So it does look a little bit different, but I can say it does look kind of clean, not having a cable in there. And of course we got to test this. So we're going to grab on with our pliers. We're going to try and twist it. So I added a little bit more solder there just because it did come apart kind of quick. But looking at it now, I mean, and I'm using the pliers on it again, I'm gonna let it cool down some, but it does not, it doesn't unravel, which is what you want, which is essentially why you have a cable end. So really that would work. So it does work, you can solder your cable ends. So let's talk about this. Can you solder your cable ends? Yeah, totally can. It works great, it actually looks pretty good. It looks decent. Should you do it all the time? That kind of depends on the person. Would I do this to all of my bikes? No, I'm not gonna be going to do this to all of my bikes. Your normal cable end caps are so cheap, so easy to put on, and the failure rate of them is very low that there's not really a reason not to use a cable end cap. You're not saving a ton of weight on there. You're still putting metal there, so it's not like you're saving weight over just a cable end cap. I mean, there's really, you know, there's very few times I could even see using this instead of using your normal cable end cap. I mean, really, a lot of times I see is you cut your cable way too short and you don't have room to put a cable and cap on, which in that case, that's on you. You messed up on that. So, I mean, you could use that. Or for some reason, you're out of cable caps and you just need something to hold the end of that cable together. And you happen to have a soldering gun and solder hanging around. Those are really the only times I would really see using this tech, using this technique to hold the cable end together. Otherwise, you just buy a jar of cable end caps for dirt cheap and you're set to go. If you have this stuff laying around, works cool. It looks different. It's something unique. For me personally, I'm gonna stick with cable end caps. They work great, no problem at all. So let me know down in the comments, do you solder your cable ends or just use a standard cable end cap like most people would? And of course, if you did like the video, give it a big thumbs up. Any comments or questions, let me know down in the comments section below. I love chatting with you guys, love answering any questions you guys have, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching today.